As always, today I'm doing a video that has come across my mind. You guys saw where I lived a life in BitLife where I made sure I did every single job pack in the game, but now I'm gonna try and use every single expansion pack in BitLife in just one life. So let's get started. So as you can see, here's a list of the multiple expansion packs. So I have to try and use every single one of them. And as always, I do not have a plan. I think the easiest thing to start is probably landlord or investor because that's gonna make us more money because in order to do black market and buy stuff and in order to do secret agent and spy you need money frankly you don't get that right away so because I don't want to deal with taxes because you know as we use like the investor pack you deal with taxes we're gonna be born in Monaco a country that doesn't have any income tax so sure we'll be male I'm not really gonna change anything I'm actually gonna take a real screenshot of this quick of the expansion pack so I don't forget them because they're not like the job packs where they're in their own designated space in the game, they're all spread out. <laughs> So let me just think of a quick strategy right now. So we know for sure the secret agent, you need a lot of money to start, like millions. Same with cult. Investor, you can invest anything like $5, but it's not really gonna go anywhere. Black market, you need money to buy things. So I think the best way to start this is with landlord. So the rule is, is I'm only allowed to make money to begin this challenge of being able to use all the different packs from one part-time job when I'm a kid. Up until the age of 18, that is the money I'm allowed to use to start this challenge where I have to try and use every expansion pack. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, just do crime and you'll make a bunch of money as a kid. I don't wanna make a bunch of money. So I'm not allowed to make money from like stealing a car or anything. It literally just has to be one part-time job. We age till we're 18 and that's all we have. And the good thing about the expansion packs is I don't need any schooling. So I can just age out and start right at 18. So at 15, we're able to get one part-time job. So we are gonna get newspaper delivery person and I basically have three years to make money and now 23,000 so now I'm not taking the driver's test I'm not allowed to take my parents money and I have to resign from this job so I am starting this challenge with 23,000 in the bank and I have to try and make a successful life where I have used every single expansion pack and became at least a billionaire with it and I'm making a rule as well that I'm not allowed to use time machine for investor pack because it's not like I'm trying to be a zillionaire first things first let's go look at some properties see if there's any really cheap ones that I can loan. Oh, BitLife added a refresh inventory button. Wait, what? The real estate agent says that there are some additional houses for sale in another part of town you could browse since you don't seem to be interested in these. Wait, does that mean closing the app doesn't work anymore? If that's the case, please. Okay, refreshing the app still works. <laughs> I forgot Monaco has... <laughs> the most expensive housing. So my plan backfired. We're gonna just straight up have to start investing then. Okay, let's try and do this strategically. So crypto, <laughs> let's buy like, let's say $2,000 worth of crypto and maybe we'll do some bonds. Let's invest 10K into this. Let's see how it goes. Oh boy, college is not for me. Oh my God, I made a profit. Great. Worst performing assets was Dogecoin. Dogecoin went up 19%, which is good. And Gamma Select Fund went up 24%. So we're gonna age. Oh boy. Oh, it went up. That's insane. Overall, we only made a return of 1,700 in nine years. That's awful. Literally a Levisium had a spike. So I liquidated my funds. So now I'm trying something else. Penny stocks we could do. This one's up, uh, just like put all our money in, guess. Screw it, let's try. 11,000, let's go, let's go, let's go again. Ah, 15! One more, 9,000, okay. Um, My portfolio, we're at 60,000 right now. Let me see if there's anything cheap. Like I, I wanted something that's like 50K. We're in Monaco, so everything is just expensive. Even a trailer is 150,000. This is tough. Now our bank balance slash assets are 61,998. I need to double it and pass it to the next person. Gotta keep up with investments. Um, Crypto's too, too up, down, all the timey. Um, Vitality Burger, could do that. I'm so scared. <gasps> Okay, 32,000. Okay, I'm trying things for one year that I'm quitting, I can't. So now our finances are 94,000. I need at least 150. And I'm also just like kind of aging. <laughs> 
Oh my God, please just be two years in a row, please. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. Just get rid of it. I'm done with crypto. I'm I'm done with investing. <laughs> like I'm done now. We have 188,000 in the bank. Now let's go look for a house. $150,000 tiny home. That one's not good quality. This one's a quality apply for mortgage. So now we're officially going to start landlord and that's what's gonna exponentially grow our money. We could do this tiny house maybe. Okay, that's two. Could we do a third one? by any chance? Okay, yeah, no. So we're just doing maximum rent and picking anyone because it's actually good to choose bad tenants because then when they trash your place, you get the money by suing them. So that's one tenant at Backside Lane. And now for our second tiny home, I wish I had a tiny home. Both are rented out now. Investor, I've used landlord, and the goal is to use the combination of investor and landlord to build wealth, to be able to start a cult, to be able to open a spy agency, and to be able to get things from the black market for fun. So let's age and see what we get. So for now, we're just aging. Might as well sell this one because it's trashed. We'll take their offer. I lost 23,000, but big deal. And I might as well evict this person too. Get rid of that house and already get another one. So we definitely made a good profit of over like 50K, which is what we needed. Slowly but surely, net worth is 260,000. I'm gonna wait till we're like, what? Let me get one more property. Let's see if there's anything I can get that's in my budget. A condo, 246 manufactured home, no. 225 manufactured home really bad condition but i'm doing it <laughs> i will put some money into a reno okay we're gonna charge the most rent i can okay time to evict our tenants and do the next round <laughs> we have someone trying to squat <laughs> okay legal aid hon you're losing ninety-two thousand. my karma's a hundred percent try me and that is a nice little profit we've officially doubled our money let's do this perfect bungalow let's do it okay so now with the money that i'm making from my properties i am going to try and find a financial advisor okay <laughs> lewis works with jennifer lawrence but bad reputation so i'm skipping no i need someone with an amazing reputation y'all are trash i didn't want you anyways goodbye oh you're not paying bye toodles if I have another lawsuit, let's go. Oh, this one's for 1.1 million. I got it <laughs> to sell. Oh my God, they really trashed it. Almost zero condition. Oh, that's 47K, but I made half a mil, I don't care. I'm evicting you too. I'm sorry, you didn't do anything wrong. I am a millionaire now and I need the property. Let's rent it out for 15,000 a month, perfect. And now I'm going to give some of my money to a financial advisor. Hopefully I can find actually a good one so I can start doing the other things. Ooh, she has a pretty good reputation, but I want someone better. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, sorry. <laughs> sorry. There we go, this is what I was waiting for. Almost full reputation, let's do it. And ask him to invest for you. I'm going to give him half a million dollars or euros. I'm really scared to age, but let's see. Okay, 100K in rent. Ooh, one year return of 3%, not bad, not bad. He dropped me. My financial advisor dropped me. He said he doesn't wanna work for someone who won't talk to him. Dude, this is the one, beg him to keep me. Damn it. This is the one thing that like, I'm not sure about how it works in BitLife. What are you supposed to do when your agent drops you? Are you supposed to sell all your stuff? <laughs> Are you supposed to keep it going? I'm just gonna liquidate it all then, just in case, and just hire someone else. Cause I don't wanna risk it. I, I just, I'm gonna try and find someone that's almost perfect reputation. Okay, apparently not. With that being said, we have a million dollars. I'm saying dollars, it just, it's easier for me. I know it's euros. I know that's supposed to be euros, but <sighs> I keep saying dollars. But <laughs> I have a million in the bank. So I officially have enough to start a cult. <laughs> <laughs> um, compound, how much is a compound again? 14 mil. Well, I don't need to do the most expensive one. Um, hunting lodge, maybe 1.2 mil. We can mortgage that out. Awesome, awesome. Okay, way of Gerard, Gerardism, way of Hans. I like that better. And let's do anti-establishment. Decide your first rule. I don't like any of them. Keep your face hidden. Mm, back rubs must be given upon request. Two dogs are to be pampered. Honorific as father, Hans. That's how I like it. Entry fee, maximum. Annual fee, maximum. This is about money. So for our appeal, we definitely need to add some structures. So let's do an amphitheater right away. Let's pay with cash. That's great. And let's do a throne room. No, a sculpture garden. Everybody would probably like that. 
buy with cash. I'm not gonna ask my followers to pay. Um, a com communication tower, let's do it. Buy with cash. And finally, a throne room. I want that for myself, girl. I don't care about anybody else. All that's left is finding some communards. I'm just admitting everybody. They're all welcome. I'm not picky here. You can all join the cult of Gerard of Hans. You are all welcome. Welcome to my cult, my best friends. Now we just need to create our image. <laughs> A barcode. <laughs> barcode on the forehead you know how everyone's joke especially in like the 2010s was i'm gonna get that tattooed on my forehead <laughs> that's an example so for our totem i want to swap out our totem for something else we could probably go for a black flag because it's like a skull we're all mad here let's go to india do it we're not we're just ignoring everybody i don't want to lose any fans okay there we go Forty-one thousand followers gained that's what I'm talking about. And as a reminder, you guys know, like obviously China and India are the, you'll get the highest audiences with them because they're the two most population dense countries in the world. But again, not trying to have the biggest cult. We're just trying to have a cult in general. We're all mad here. Let's age. Oh my God. I'm waiting for these pop-ups. There's going to be so many pop-ups. So this is the annual report for my cult. So we made 2.4 million. Our tenant just gave us a package and it is a bottle of Screaming Eagle Cabernet something. I don't know what that is. So I'll just thank her. <laughs> and my real estate portfolio was 100k. Great. And someone wants to hook up. No, thank you. So now I have 5 million in the bank. So will somebody please be my financial advisor? It's like they formed a cult to say don't work with Hans. It's not my fault you have bad reputation. Oh, Leonardo's good. Let's hire him. And I might do a little risky risky. I might give him all my money money. One of your followers just reported that he witnessed your communard brother Jacob refusing to give another communard a back rub. Warn him. <sighs> okay. That was very high risk of me to do, but it was successful. Oh my God, 300K this year. That's crazy. Okay, well, considering our property is going pretty well, I do want to get a little bit more of an expensive one to rent. So I'm actually going to evict Juliet. I'm sorry, you've been a great tenant, but you got to go. I'll apply for a mortgage for that one. I'll renovate it. I'll add all the upgrades and that will be like our final property, I think. So renovate it. We'll put 1.7 mil into it. I want it to be good and we can add four. We can add four upgrades. So let's do a swimming pool. We'll do a sauna. That's the one that makes you the most. Observatory is a really good one as well. Patio, that one's so good. Okay, and now we're charging 80,000 a month. I need to start a museum. <laughs> I have the black market expansion pack left and the secret agent. Secret agent is going to be dead last because I've made so many videos on it and I do not want to do a whole thing because you guys have seen me do it 25 times. But this stuff, some of these are old and not a lot of you have seen in a while and that's why I'm excited to do them. So we're gonna start the museum. So black market, shop for contraband. Let's do an antique peddler. They have good attitude. We will purchase it. I will, they're a high threat, so I will let it go. Arms dealer, let's do it. Purchase it, got it. I can't afford it, keep looking. Can't afford that, can't afford that, great. <laughs> Wildlife smuggler, let's do <gasps> platypus berry purchase. Hey, manual the platypus. Hey. So museum, display your collectibles, apply for mortgage. My gallery, <laughs> why not? <laughs> So in our main wing, let's see our animals. We have to um, put in Mr. Manual. Miss Gemstone here, we have to appraise it, right? Yeah, so <laughs> that was a replica. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I can put the Assassin's Blade in it. It's worth 500 million. Wait, hold on. I want to do one with just my items. Okay, so let me do the Tizona. Appraise, it's authentic, good. So we can add the Tizona to this one. So let's apply for a loan for the next section, the North Wing, and I want this to all be my items that I have. So let's do Assassin's Blade. Oh my God. And it's the maximum appeal. Okay, I'm getting rid of the other one completely. This one's gonna give me such good appeal. Santa sack, I'm dead. Okay, so that's my museum. North Wing has the highest appeal. I honestly wanna get rid of this one. Let's just take them out of the museum. So let's manage our ticket prices. We'll do $45, 45 euros and H. So we have four things going on. We have a financial advisor. We have a cult. We have a, we have tenants as a landlord and the museum for the black market. So let's age and see how this goes. <laughs> so we promoted our museum on Twitter and we made a monthly revenue of three mil monthly you're waiting for the bus to arrive after an afternoon of grocery shopping when you see the antique peddler across the parking lot struggling to carry his bags across the car <sighs> offer to help i guess 
goodness, we're at 30 million. And our portfolio is just doo-doo, but it's fine. So if you look at my little finances here, my net worth is um, 998 million, obviously, because I have the Assassin's Blade in the museum, okay? But I'm going for bank balance. So technically I win this challenge. I just need enough money now for the spy agency. So let's just keep aging. My communards are all dying. I think I only have one left at this point. As always, everyone's welcome. But it's time to start a spy agency. The top one. 19 mil, apply for mortgage. I got a lot of loans. <laughs> Shadow surveillance, let's do it. My code name is Emerald. All I need is one agent and we will own and rock the assassination missions. Okay, we got in. Are there any assassin agents? Special operative honeypot, neckbeard is stealth. Stealth as well, bunghole, honeypot. Prince F is honeypot, oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, we got an elite agent in assassination. Oh my god, now I just have to attempt to poach him, please. Please take my money. Yes! <laughs> now I'm overwhelmed. Um, there's too many things going on. What do I have to do? I have to get him to do assassination mission. <laughs> That's where we're at. I will pop up there, but it's not there like automatically. It's only there when you do it. Okay, secret agent. Let's go to my agent. Hold on. Spy gadgets. <gasps> okay, good. We can use it. I just have to buy one for us to be able to start missions. So let's go to our missions and let's do Project Moist Goal. An agency, they will literally do it. You don't even have to pick. Like, like you literally just click and they'll, they'll do it perfectly. So the goal is to get to 1 billion bank balance because obviously the Assassin's Blade kind of ruined our <laughs> net worth. Um, the appeal is still going strong. That is crazy. Clean everything, all the exhibits. Let's get it in perfect condition. My tenant left. Oh shoot, okay. So I guess I can rent for more now. <laughs> 94,000, thank you. I mean, I actually didn't mind that. Oh my God, what if I just start going for freaking the million dollar properties? I should do that now. $86 million penthouse, are you kidding? Are you freaking kidding? For a million a month, but doing spy agency with a museum, with a cult, with investing, with landlord, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God, should I rent out the futuristic home that's 309 million? Freaking the landlord like expansion pack has to be my favorite. Like I freaking love it. Just the way it's passive income, the interactions with the tenants, it definitely by far is my favorite. Even if it's like simple, I love it. It's it's my favorite one. Okay, so we mortgage that and let's see how much rent we could charge. Okay, let's see. 3.8 million a month. That should be illegal if that was real life, but since it's bit life, it's fine. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> This is like just a tease, okay? Because my bank balance is 998 million. So we finally have to age one more year and I will have hit the billion dollar bank balance. And there we go. 1.035 billion bank balance. My net worth is definitely higher. It, my net worth is 2.6, but I wanted a bank balance of a billion. So now for fun to end this, I just want to show you guys really quickly before we do the fun part. My cult is here. Okay, just to prove it, my black market stuff is here. My secret agent is there. It's a shitty prestige, but it's fine. This is my museum, still perfect appeal, even though everything is trash. And here are my rental properties. So that is the five. Oh, and I was investing. This is my portfolio. So my portfolio has made us 900K, which is fine, but my financial advisor dropped me. So really quickly, I'm gonna liquidate everything. How I'm ending this video is I am randomly picking one cryptocurrency, like gambling and investing all my money into it. <laughs> and we're gonna see, I promise you, I've not used time machine at all. Elevisium, you know, it's on the down, it could go up. What about Dariarium? It's a lot like that. Dogecoin went up 10%. You know what, I believe, you know what, I've been a bum girl since I was a kid, okay? I have to put faith in the bum, age. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh my God, a squatter. 64 million. I can't afford it. Are you kidding? They're repossessing my house of having. Ah! I went up 10%. Oh my God, that was so lucky. Should I do it again? Oh my God, I'm scared. This is, this is the end of the video, so I really don't care. Evict, whatever, you can leave. Bye. Again? It's stroking my ego. <laughs>
<laughs> well guys, that is the end of me trying to, trying to do every single expansion pack in BitLife at once, just like how I did with the job packs. There are more job packs that have been added to the game since that video, but once even more are added to it, I'm definitely going to attempt that one again. Same with this one in the future. If you guys are someone that had bid as in a long time ago, you do get these expansion packs for free. I'm one of those people, fortunately. So if you're one of those people, I highly recommend you try this challenge. And if you're one of the people that have bought all the expansion packs, you should try this too. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. If you want to see more BitLife and gaming content, and with that being said, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.